the men's 100 freestyle for the S11 class. Bradley Schneider was very, very close to a long-standing world record in the heats this morning. Well, that world record is held by John Morgan of the USA and was set way back in 1986, Paul. I don't remember it, but I'm sure you do. I remember it, Joe. I swam in those World Games in 1986, back in the black and white days. That was a great championship that in Gothenburg in the outdoor pool. Absolutely boiling hot weather, I remember back then. John Morgan was a fantastic visually impaired swimmer who set that world record then at 56.67. And only now are the swimmers starting to challenge the times of John Morgan. This is Viktor Smirnov, a man who's been very successful in the Paralympic Games in the past. Alexander Maschenko, his Ukrainian teammate next to him. This, of course, Charles, is the event for swimmers with no vision at all. Henry Herbst in lane number three for South Africa. All the swimmers wearing blacked out goggles. They're all visually impaired, but all have to wear blacked out goggles for these ones. There he is, the man. He had a poor finish this morning, but it didn't stop him from going well. And there's Souza. Well, he looks like a Mexican wrestler in that, uh, that hat and goggles combination. <laughs> I'm sure you really, love that. <laughs> you don't really see those worn very much these days. Well, Kimura had a very poor tap this morning when he finished. There's Mikowski. Taran Drake completes the lineup in lane number eight. All these swimmers, as I said, they're all wearing black tuck goggles, all swimmers with no vision at all. Bradley Schneider. And next to him, Matthias Sousa. With that distinctive cap and goggles. Very important, the dive in this S11 final. Take your marks. Well, they're all away very quickly, but it's Snyder who's away the best. And so important that you come off the wall and swim squarely and don't go straight into the lane road. But that is exactly what's happened to Mateus Souza in lane number five. He came out of the blocks and went straight into the lane road. Bradley Snyder as well is also stuck on the lane road. And Henry Herbst on the outside of him had great taps this morning. But it's Snyder, that leg kick ball, driving him out the wall there. That was absolutely unreal. Well, Henry Herbst was fastest to the wall in the heats, and he was just about fastest, just behind Bradley Schneider in the final tonight. But Schneider pulled away really strongly. Look at the technique from Bradley Schneider here. Can this long-standing world record be beaten at last? 1986, it looks like it's going to go, is it? It is just outside, 56.78. He misses it by 0.1 of a second. But Bradley Schneider is the champion, the clear champion. Sousa recovered to hit, take the silver medal position in 59-2-0, and it's Henry Herbs from South Africa, the bronze. Well, it was absolutely textbook S11 swimming there from Bradley Schneider. Great off the wall. All of these blind swimmers, of course, not knowing what time they've done until someone's told them, hence why you don't see them celebrating when they get to the end of the wall. Hear that? Oh, Bradley Schneider, I'm sure he's held, heard the, the in-venue. We saw him punch the air there. I'm sure he heard the in-venue announcers just announced that time and him as the champion. That's why he was celebrating. Here we come onto the tap. You can see the bow in the lane rope there because he's so hard up against it. And really, the finish doesn't get any better than that. These swimmers work for hours with their tappers to make sure that they know exactly the point at which they need to feel that blow on the back of the head, which indicates, in Bradley Snyder's case, that he's got one more stroke to go, and he hits it pretty much spot on. And he can't believe it. <laughs> of course, the result is not confirmed. The swimmers will have to get their blacked out goggles checked. They have to, uh, the officials have to check that and then the result will be official. But he is absolutely delighted with that. And no wonder, 0.1 of a second outside that record, which 
stands for another day, Giles, and we're going to get to 30 years, maybe. <laughs> yeah.